Hello there and welcome. In this short video, we are going to learn how to add some simple procedural generation for our objects. Now imagine you have an open world game or any game that requires you to place a large amount of items in a certain area. It can even be hundreds of items. Another thing that you may want is randomness. Maybe this item should spawn at random locations each time the player starts a level or enters into some kind of dungeon. So with a simple script, all of this will become very easy. First of all, let's prepare some kind of scene for the tutorial. We can create a terrain but of course you don't have to use a terrain, you can use a plane or any kind of surface. Now we also want to have some grass so we're simply going to paint some textures. I'm going to add a new layer, it's going to be this grass and it painted grass over the terrain. Now we're going to create the object that is going to generate all of these items on this terrain. So we're going to have an empty object and we're going to name it procedural generator. On this object, we're going to add the script that I'm going to provide to you in the description of this video. So it's going to be a unity package, simply right click, import package, custom package, and select the package. I already imported it, so I have it over here. Then we simply need to drag the script on this object. Now we can see a few fields over here. So the first one is very obvious. This is the prefab that we need to provide, and this will be the item that will be generated. So each generator will only generate one kind of item. So if we want to generate mushrooms, we need to have one generator and then if we want to generate rocks we need to create another generator so over here we need to provide the prefab that we want to generate and in our case it's going to be this mushroom so we're simply going to drag it into this slot now we have the number of prefabs so this is the amount of items you want to generate in this certain area then we also have the generation area size and if we zoom out we can see that we have this outline over here and this is just some kind of gizmo that I created that will show us the actual area of generation. So if I change these values it's going to change the area of generation so you can make it very big, you can make it very small, it really depends on the area that you want to generate these items. Then we also have this parent container and this is just some kind of object that we can provide to be the parent of all of these instances because if we have 200 or even thousands of instances we want to place them inside some kind of parent so we can simply create some kind of mushrooms parent and then provide it over here and now all of these 200 instances are going to be placed inside of this parent. Another thing that we have over here is this absolute ground level and this is just a way to control the y value of the generation so if the generator is positioned at y0 it's going to generate all of these items on y0 but for example if we have some kind of mountain or some kind of terrain that is very high we want to make sure that all of these items are not generated underground so when we start the game it will automatically change this to be 30. but of course you can also place the generator manually where you want it to generate these items. Now if we zoom in into this area and we start the game, it will basically populate this entire area with 200 mushrooms. Of course we can increase this number and then it will be much more dense or we can just have like 10 mushrooms and it's going to be very hard to find them because we're going to have 10 mushrooms in this entire area. Now just so we can actually see these mushrooms because they're rather small I'm going to increase their size to be about 2 and I'm going to press on play and then I'm going to skip back to the scene view and we can see that we got all of these mushrooms in this area and that's just because we set 10 mushrooms. If I'm going to increase this to 100 and press play again we're going to have much more mushrooms. Now, of course, if you also want to have stones and you want to have other things, you need to create another generator. Just duplicate this one. You can rename this one to be stone generator and this one will be mushroom generator. So you can give them different values. Of course, for the stone, you need to provide the stone prefab 
and also have another container. If you're not going to provide any container and it's just going to be none, it's going to generate all of these items inside of the generator. So they will become children of this generator. Now inside the script, we can also see that the generation happens at the beginning of the game. But of course you can also disable this and just call this generate method when you need to. So for example, you want things to be generated only at certain times or at certain events, then you can call this method and it's going to generate these items instead of being generated at the beginning of the game. So now we have this very simple procedural generator. And of course you don't have to use objects. You can also spawn enemies this way or creatures. But if you want to generate more complex things like landscape, you will have to find another solution. So that's all for this video. If you liked this video, please leave a like. You can also ask me anything you want in the comment section. Please subscribe if you're still not subscribed to the channel and I'll see you next time.